so now, forget about clicking the mouse or the remote control. No need for that keyboard. No longer. Your brain waves will do the work. All according to researchers at Intel, the possibility, they say, is not too far off. But there is a catch. You have to implant a chip inside your brain. A <laughs> Good idea. Seth Porges, Associate Editor of Technology for Popular Mechanics. My guest here in studio. How you doing? I'm great. Thanks they're, for having they're me. They're looking, what, 11 years down the road in the year 2020. What are they saying that, that they could possibly do? They're saying that by 2020, we should be able to do simple compu computer movements like moving a mouse, surfing the web just by thinking about it. All right, so I have to go in, and you're going to be my doctor. I'm going to be a and doctor. And you're going to lay me down on that slab, and you're going to put what inside of my head? Well, what they're saying is chips, and the reason they're saying that is because the way they do it today involves fMRIs. And fMRIs are these massive brain scanning machines, and they scan your brain, and they tell you what part of your brain is in use at any given moment, depending on what you're doing. And what researchers have found that's super, super cool is that when you do things, oftentimes the same part of your brain lights up as when you think about doing it. So what they found is that maybe, just maybe, if I think about moving a mouse across a screen, they can map what happens then and sort of translate that into an actual on-screen movement. But this is massively complex. You have to figure out what I'm thinking. What, what, what word am I imagining? What letter am I imagining? How do you read that in a brain chart? Well, that's much, much further down the line. What they're talking about now are simple things like moving a mouse from left to right. Actually reading words from your brain, like writing your dissertation telepathically, much, much harder. And the reason for that is because fMRI scans, they're really good at mapping things involving the motor cortex. And that's the part of your brain involved with moving your hands, moving your feet, simple left to right movements. But when it comes to thinking of distinct words, like the difference between the word cat and firehouse, not really good at that, really, really hard. So then when you get even more complex about thinking out an entire paragraph, entire essay, entire senior thesis, we're talking many, many years down the you, line. Do you like this idea? Oh, it's cool. I mean, who doesn't, who, who likes typing, right? Well, I, I, it's what we do, man. <laughs> it's what but, we do. I mean, some, some people are now predicting already that, that Americans are going to be sick and tired of depending on this computer interface. They're going to be tired of, like, finding the device in their pocket, whether it's a BlackBerry or whether it's some sort of cell phone. And this is what's going to lead to the to revolution. Well, I give us a little more credit than that. I don't think we're that lazy. But it's, 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 you know, it's hard to imagine this being terribly useful in the form they're talking about. First of all, nobody wants brain implants. Yet, maybe in the future it'll be more acceptable. And fMRIs are too big, they're too bulky, they're too expensive, and they're too dangerous to actually have in your house. So they need to really cheapen the technology, have different technologies that can be made smaller. fMRIs, you can't shrink them. They have these big magnets, liquid nitrogen, liquid helium. What, FMRIs, what is that again? It's functional magnetic resonance imaging. It's like an what, MRI. What is that? Put that in English for me. I'm so, sorry. So if you ever go to a doctor and an MRI, and they use an MRI to scan for a broken leg, for example, it's very similar to that, except it tells you over time what is happening. So you can scan the brain and see differences over time as you look at a picture or do a task. And using that information, you can tell with some degree of accuracy what part of the brain is in use for whatever you're doing. Uh -huh. There's a guy, Ray Kurzweil. You know him? I do, actually. I mean, he's had this theory for years that we're going to have Google on our frontal lobe. Well, you're talking but about better yet, we're going to have FoxNews.com on our frontal lobe. I, I hope so. Is this real? <laughs> yeah, so do we. Yeah. Is that realistic? Well, that's the singularity. Ray Kurzweil is this big proponent of this idea called the singularity, which is that someday soon, sort of the, the differences between the human brain and the computer brain... They all merge, they together, merge together, and we become one. And then it gets really scary because we can't control the machine. Hello, how? <laughs> Open the door. There are problems with this. There are a lot of problems with this. First of all, there's a technological hurdle. As I said, easy to move a cursor from left to right, really, really, really hard to get words on the screen. And Intel's told me they're making progress in this department. They've told me that 90% of the time, if they give me two words, say cat and firehouse, and tell me to think of one of them, they can tell which word I'm thinking of. Uh -huh. But, you know, actually writing out a whole sentence, really, really hard. Another big problem is simply the logistics of an fMRI. They cannot be put in your house. They cannot be put in your office. You need something smaller, cheaper, and it's something anybody can operate. Uh, well, it's the wave of the future. Apparently, some believe that anyway. We'll see. And you're really hung up on the cat in the firehouse. So I, see, I hope we'll see two of those today. Uh, the fact that Intel is really into this caught my eye. But yeah. it, it strikes me that some smaller company be it in Silicon Valley in California, will master this at some point, well, and they'll move progressively closer to it as the years go well, by. Well, Intel's interested in it because they want to master how the human brain works to make better computer chips. Point taken. Yes. Thank you, Seth. Thanks a lot. All about technology and business. You have a happy turkey day, all right, my friend? As well.